What is going on gamers? Avertrix here and today we are going to be double evolving yet another hero. Now this hero is going to be Lady Leo. Now my Lady Leo, my plans with this hero is of course I want to go ahead and max out the hero skill judgment and I want to take this war god also to 8 of 8. That way uh, she can have an 8 of 8 war god as well as an 8 of 8 bulwark. And then, not only that, but the crest I'm running right now is a level 5 revitalized crest, um, which actually helps quite a bit in Lost Battlefield. The only thing that she's missing right now is just to get uh, double evolved. That way we can start working on the skill and the talent levels. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, here's the interesting thing about this double evolution. I already have all the other requirements. I have the evolution runes and I have the red crystals. But, for her, I'm going to have to use all 60,000 shards. Now, here's the thing. Once you get a new hero, you have to get that hero basically four more times to be able to double evolve or use shards. But if you really think about it, if you buy gems and just sweep this new dungeon, you can get the shards necessary to double evolve a hero uh, a lot cheaper and a lot more securely than just rolling for duplicates because once you're you're sweeping the dungeon you have a rough estimate of how many shards you're going to need and how many gems you're going to need but once you're rolling for a duplicate you could go a hundred thousand gems in and not even get one maybe get one maybe get two but you're still going to be missing some so shards is the safest route to go if you're just looking to double evolve a hero. Now does it suck? Of course it does, but it's definitely the safest way th because of this uh, rolling system that we still have without any sort of change for like ages now. Um, but regardless, let's go ahead and use 60,000 shards for Lady Leo. Let's go. We're going to need those books, 217 books. We are certainly going to need those. There it is. Double Evolved Lady Leo. The damage seems kind of low. The HP at 70,000 is about, about the same as some other ones. Um, but let's go ahead and pick up these books. There we go. Go back to the Hero Altar. Where did she go? She probably moved up because she's Double Evolved now. Yep. Alright. Let's go ahead and earn experience. Uh, I want to start out with some purple books. Um, and then try to maximize the... Uh, the books. Uh, can I start using the purples here? Yeah, looks like I can. Oh, perfect. All right. 120. Uh, let's see what else we can do. Oh man. There we go. 140. Looks like we will need to raid um, at the end here to get the last bit of gold, um, but we should be golden after that. Uh, I'm actually thinking of just raiding it with her. That way I can show her off. Uh, okay, we're looking good so far on books still. That's not a problem. There we go, 60 more. And now she is 180. I do need 5 million more gold. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and take out the Minotaur. And I'm going to go ahead and put her in there. Um, that way we can see her in action. So let's find some gold vaults and see what she can do. Um, there's not really a lot of gold here, but I do want to see her in action. Let's see. Where did she proc? Alright, she procced over there. Now let's uh, have her build up her energy again, which is going to be a little difficult if she's going to be one-shotting every single. Uh, oh, where did she proc? She... Was that the town hall? Yeah, she, uh, she one-shot at the town hall. I don't recall if the town hall was a high level, but... Oh man, it only procced once because it probably targeted a building there, unfortunately. But it looks like she's going to make her way over here, which uh, probably... I'm really hoping that she procs on a hero. That way we can see that continuous stun. And keep in mind, it's only a 7 of 10 right now. Let's see. Oh, it didn't hit anybody. Okay, I think you have one more shot, Lady Leo. Come on, make it count. Oh, yeah, I think you literally have one more shot. Let's do it. Let's see it. Oh, baby! That did a lot of damage to that Dread Drake. It really did a lot of damage. Sorry not to give you that 100%, but we're just uh, seeing what she does. Alright, let's just send her out and see if she targets a hero right off the bat. Let's just see. She definitely did not target a... She targeted the, 
The uh, arena. Okay, that's not good. We need a bit more gold here, uh, which you don't have. Um, you certainly have a bit of gold. Let's see who she targets here. Alright, she targeted that building over there, which doesn't really help me. Um, but let's let's see if she can get in there and actually start proccing without uh, without these heroes getting in the way. Uh, she has really long range. Oh no, she's going to get attacked. Let's go ahead and freeze them right here. Let's see. What does she target? She targeted over there. And I think that's really her main... Um, the main problem with her, as far as with raiding anyways, is that her proc, if she just hits something with low HP, it's probably going to be wasted. So that's the negative side effect on th of that. But I mean, even just proccing once, look at the power of that. That's pretty impressive. Is she going to hit over this? I think she might. No, she's going to go around. That's interesting. She has the range to actually attack that, so I don't see why she didn't. Alright, let's see what she targets here. She targeted another low HP building. Alright, so let's go just go ahead and get the uh, the age or the gold that we need. And yeah, that'll put us over. Um, and actually test her out in the Lost Realm because I think that's where she shines the most. Uh, is this going to be one of those big groups? Not really. I'm just looking for one of those big groups like this one. Okay, so instead of using Santa Boom and Skull Knight, maybe even Pumpkin Duke, let's just go ahead and use her with maybe like a healer, make sure she stays alive. There we go. Let's see what she can do. I'm hoping for a stun lock and a lot of damage here. There it goes at the back at the back side. Oh my goodness, she destroyed them. They didn't even get close. Ooh, all right. Um, let's take a look at this uh, Cupid team. All right, we'll use a stamina card. I have nine stamina cards. I got nine stamina cards from Lava today. That's absolutely crazy. But let's see what she does here. She's gonna stun him right in the front, and look at that damage. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me go ahead and take out Ghoulum. That way, there's no other damage going around. Um, you know what? Let's just leave them. Let's just leave them. Let's see what they can do by themselves. Cupid is definitely going to help her damage, but I mean, there's really nothing else. So, let's see. There we go. Ooh, and they're going to get stunned a few times. And uh, she's stunning them over there. Oh, no, that Atlantic Corp Prague. That's a bad thing, actually. That's not good. All right. Can she get out of this? Oh, look at the damage. Woof. Can she proc one more time? There we go. Oh, I'm about to die, but I think I'll live. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm really liking the damage, and I'm liking the stun that she provides. Especially since she has such a long range. It's really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad. If you combine her with a right team in Lost Battlefield, she would dominate that for sure. All right, let's go ahead and just finish her off, though. So now her damage is going to go almost a thousand points she's going to gain. Her HP is going to jump to about 150,000 which is crazy. Let's go ahead and get her up. There we go. And now we just got to go ahead and finish the hero skill and the war god talent. But let's, let's take a look at the difference here. Um, we just need another decent team. This Immortep team might be decent. Oh yeah, it's pretty decent. Let's see what she got. Ooh, that is doing some work. It's and then she procs again, like she just procked, and then she's procking again, and then she's procking again. Once I take that skill up to ten of ten, it might even be a stun lock. Oh no, I am out of gold. But the good thing about this new merchant, and thank you IGG for that, is that now, um, you can actually back out, go ahead and grab your gold, and uh, do it all over again. It looks like. Uh, She's definitely not a very good raiding hero. That is uh, pretty much for sure. Because she doesn't really seem to target any high HP buildings or any uh, heroes right off the bat. But what can you do? Went ahead and uh, gathered the gold that I needed. 
and now we can actually go back after we closed out the merchant and do whatever purchases we needed um, so yeah there we go um, but yeah that was Lady Leo I think I'm gonna have to uh, start using her a lot more in my lost battlefield team because she's definitely gonna make a difference with the long-range stun um, the damage and everything else that she provides um, but yeah thank you guys for watching and until later bye